On today's show, we are going to talk about the new 2024 Toyota Highlander, and uh, there's a lot to like about this thing. Now, it's not that you've seen the review we did of the Grand Highlander. This is just slightly scaled down, but you're still getting a lot of cool features. We're going to walk around and talk about it. You know Kelly's got that mommy vibe. She wants to see the trunk of this thing, and uh, how much junk can we put in there? Let's find out. All right, right from the get-go, this thing is a good-looking, uh, it's a good little car, man, and it's a family mobile, don't get us wrong, but family cars, Kelly, do not have to be boring, right? They don't have to be boring, and this one actually steps it up, and you don't have to be boring with this. You do have a bit of chrome on this one. You know I'm generally not a chrome fan. Yeah. This one, I think it does it well with the moon dust color on the exterior. Yeah. Now, that is an upcharge. It's about $400, $435 or what? something like that. Yeah, it is. It's metallic. It's pretty. It's, you know, it... I have to say it's a little dull, but it goes along well. The, but there, there's an attitude for this car. There, it's more relaxed. It's more comfortable. And that's what a car like this, kind of that wagon style car should be. Now, just because it's relaxed doesn't mean it's boring because look at these wheels on this thing. They got some Goodyear Eagle Touring tires on this and they are a uh, 235, 55, 20. And uh, really a good looking wheel for this, this package. And uh, of course it is all wheel drive because you know how I know, I just saw that. Anyways, as we walk around this thing, we go to the front. Like Kelly said, there is some chrome to it, but we got a big old air vent in there because, well, it needs a lot of cooling factors, and you know we gotta we gotta have some uh, have some air go through this thing as we kind of go around the side. Kelly, where are you at with the front end? What do you like about it? What maybe you don't like about it? Yeah, so actually, I'm quite impressed with the front end on this one. It's just aggressive enough, but at the same point, it's not like, hey, look at me, give me all the attention. Yeah. So I really do like. It's, it's the longer end, so you're definitely getting that lower feel as well yeah. to the ground, yeah. but you're also feeling like you can go to town, you can carry all yeah. the things, all the kids, all the everything. All the other thing. And it's not boring. We're going to see the, you can see a snippet of the interior in there. But uh, as we go around to the back of this car, big old powerful tail lights on this. It is a hybrid. This is the platinum version of the Highlander. So, um, Kelly, we got to see what's in the back of this thing. Can we uh, open that? Ooh, power lift gate in that. As you can see, it will hold one pickup truck plus SUV bag and a big text and a couple backpacks. But overall, there's a lot. There's a lot of room. It is a three row. It is. So there is still, even with it down, if you were just say you and a couple kiddos or, you know, you and a couple friends, there's still a lot of room to be had. The seats, you can see their captain seats in there all the way around. Uh, a lot of cargo room. Yeah, and honestly, if you see, the seat is going to come up right about here. So you still have a substantial amount of cargo room for yeah. a third row in this smaller SUV. So I'm quite impressed with the amount of cargo space that you have without the seat up and with the seat down. Yeah, in the back, they've got the old JBL subwoofer back here. You are getting a 1500 watt inverter back here. So if you're at the ball fields, whatever, need to charge something, charge your daughter's softball bat. I don't know how that works, <laughs> but you can do all the things with that. But where it really matters is in the the inside of the thing. So let's get inside and uh, talk about it. All right, like I said, it's a uh, family mobile, but it doesn't have to feel boring. And look at the seats, like all the kind of fun stitching in this. Heated and cooled seats, which Kelly is uh, in this heat of Texas. Heated and cooled in the front. Yes, in the front, not the back. Uh, we Trust me, we've already had arguments about that. But <laughs> nice ventilated seats. And I will say the cooling on this, you feel like, wow. Um, yeah, yeah, it's pretty urgy. Everything. It's like, hey. Don't forget about me. Yeah, everything feels cool. Uh, getting into this vehicle is pretty nice. I do like, of course, you know, I hear right, I've been kind of fussing about this, pushing the uh, infotainment up there, but they blend it very well into the dash. That, that's some of Toyota's best work I've seen. I've seen their newer trucks that do not do a good job like this does. And I love the fact, look how it just seamlessly goes right into the dash out, out through the vents. Well, and honestly, if you look at the shape of it, it pays homage to the front end of mm -hmm. the, of this vehicle. So it really just kind of mimics that shape. Yeah, you definitely do get the grill kind of vibes mm -hmm. there. Uh, big buttons. Now, why might that be big buttons is because there might be, there might be an older generation that uh, don't want to deal with the little buttons. Yep. So I think Toyota is very aware of mm -hmm. like, hey, the buying market for this is the whole spectrum it's new it's new buyers it's uh middle-aged people and it's older people that might want to buy this and speaking of that big old steering wheel in this thing big old screen in this but you still get all the views like you the i haven't noticed any real blind sides of this thing so actual shifter which i'm so i hate the dials so i'm happy with that and i think that there's a generational thing that buys this car that wants they actually want the shifter uh you get all look, we get a trail mode look i that. noticed that too yeah you get all the modes you get the electric parking we get an ev mode which is pretty cool when you take off it's very quiet and uh when you get up to speed 
you know, it uh, goes back into gasoline mode. We are getting one USB A and two C's. So the industry is definitely, uh, definitely taking taking notice of C. Uh, Augsport as well. We do get, you know, uh, charging there, wireless charging, mm -hmm. which for us has been a big plus, right? It has been a big plus. It actually, you know, we've talked about it previously that sometimes they don't charge our phones and this one charges our phone yeah. just fine. And you know what, with phones getting bigger, they kind of yep, gave you a lot more room. room. Some of them just give you just enough to get your iPhone in there. So we get a big old console in this thing and it's it kind of unique. It just slides open and then you can see like you can lose yourself down there. It's so deep. Um, that's pretty cool. Nice little tray that comes along with it. Um, leads us into the back of the car. As you can see here, once again, captain's and captain's chairs, you know, beam me up Scotty because we have some nice chairs. That's not a bench and you can, I like the cup holders in the middle. Of course, those seats are going to fold back so you can get actually in that, but everybody gets their own little armrest. So, so Timmy and Jilly are not fighting over who's uh, touching who or, you know, your passengers, your adult passengers. They don't want to feel like they're on top of each other and lots of leg room, as you can see right there. Overall, the interior of this car, Kelly, is a home run to me. Yeah, and I, and honestly, I spent quite a bit of time in the back seat because the boys were in the front seat talking, doing their thing, and it was very comfortable. I did not feel slighted by sitting in the back seat of this one. This is a seven seater. However, it's really like most vehicles of this size. It's really more of a six seater because you're really not going to use that third one in the back, but those captain's chairs are amazing. And what I did like also in the back seat is that I still had the moonroof above me to go ahead and really experience that. It really takes the height of the vehicle up yeah, when you're your headroom. It. Yeah. And you don't feel like you're kind of confined because when you've got that open and Honestly, the other thing that I really liked on this Platinum is the sun visors on the side windows because when you're flying in, you don't always know where your sunglasses are. And guess what? That saved me a lot in the Texas sun this week. That's right. And a couple of cool things. You do get an actual HD uh, rear view mirror. So yes. yes, it is reflective, but when you turn the car on, you actually get the cameras, which is nice. Takes a little to adapt to, but uh, you do get a heads up display, which is there's a bug right there right now. So that's <laughs> our only heads up display. But overall, interior, home run. Absolutely. All right, deep in the heart of Texas, that is our quick look at the Highlander. I want to say thank you to Toyota for uh, allowing us to review yes, this vehicle. And uh, Kelly, the final details of this thing, what kind of engine did we get in this? Yeah, so actually in this one, we have a 2.5 liter four cylinder. It is an ECVT in uh -huh. it. Now, one thing we didn't talk about is it does have a 3,500 pound uh, towing capacity on it. Oh, that's it. pretty nice. And fuel economy, what do yeah, we got there? Fuel economy, we're at 35 miles combined. 35 city, 34 highway. So really there's not much of an adjustment no, there. No, and that's, it's because of that eco. And good numbers for as big of a vehicle this Absolutely. is. Now, pricing wise, this is where, uh, you know, make or break a vehicle like this. Yeah, like we talked about, the color is an upcharge of $425. Mm -hmm. uh, the cargo mats, the floor mats, all of that, 358. And the cargo crossbars that you see on the top are a $350 upcharge. So out the door as tested, 55,653. Not bad, not bad. Now in the scheme of things, I might push for a couple thousand more. You can yep. get into the Grand Highlander. Mm -hmm. I might push for that, but if you're very budget conscious, this you're getting a lot of vehicle with this thing. And uh, I'm pretty happy. I think it's a, yep. good, I think it's a home run from Toyota and uh, they know what they're doing with this size vehicle. They do. So, so in the comments below, let us know what you think about this thing. Are you interested in this style of vehicle? So smash that like button, yep. let us know because that opens up the doors for more things. So whether it be two wheel drive, four wheel drive, all wheel drive, all wheel drive. This has been your all train nation. I'm your host, David Boyd. I'm Kelly Boyd. And we're out. Peace everybody. See ya.